In this video, we're going to solve four exponential equations. Each one is a slightly different than the other ones. All right, so let's start out with five, or sorry, two raised to the x minus five power equals seven. Now there's no way to rewrite both sides, so we have the exact same base on both sides. So I'm going to suggest that we go ahead and involve a logarithmic function. So I'm going to apply a logarithm to both sides, and I'm selecting the common log because I know that's one that we're typically allowed to use our calculators for as opposed to say a log base 2 or a log base 7. All right, common log means log base 10 automatically. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do is one of our logarithmic properties says we're allowed to move that exponent down in front and make it a multiple. So I can rewrite this as x minus 5 multiplied by the log of 2 and that's going to equal the log of 7. All right, from here, our goal is to isolate x, get it on one side all by itself. Well, I notice that the left-hand side is all being multiplied by log of 2. So to get rid of that, to counteract multiplying by log of 2, I'm going to divide both sides by log of 2. All right, multiplying and dividing by log of 2 will be opposites of one another. This will leave us with x minus 5 on the left-hand side, and then log of 7 divided by log of 2 on the right hand side. Now make sure you don't rewrite that as log of 7 over 2. You have to have both a log in the numerator and a log in the denominator. All right, to finish this one up and get x all by itself, we simply need to get rid of the 5, move it to the other side. Well, it's being subtracted right now, so we're going to use addition to move that to the other side. This will put x on one side all by itself, and our final answer, an exact answer I might add, is log of 7 divided by log of 2 with a plus 5 tacked on the end. Now, I did mention that we're allowed to use our calculator typically to get an approximation. When we use common log, we can also use the natural log sometimes as well. So we can put this in our calculator and get an approximation. This will be approximately 7.807. All right, next let's move up to the top right. We have 7 multiplied by e raised to the 2x minus 3 equals 16. To get going on this, we want to isolate the exponential part, whatever has the variable up in the exponent. Let's get that on one side by itself. So systematically, we need to get rid of the 7 and the 3. I'm first going to go ahead and get rid of the 3, move it to the other side by adding 3 to both sides. Adding and subtracting the same thing makes a 0 on this side, which will leave us with 7e to the 2x equals, well we can go ahead and combine like terms on the right hand side and get 16 plus 3 makes 19. Alright, remember our goal is still get e to the 2x by itself, so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and divide both sides by 7, because that 7 was attached with multiplication to the e to the 2x. Alright, this will put e to the 2x on the left hand side all by itself. We aren't going to be able to reduce down 19 over 7, but that's okay. All right. Next up, we can uh, we have a couple different options. We could use the definition of logarithmic function to switch this over into a logarithm, or equivalently, how I like to approach these is I'm going to apply a natural log on both sides, and the reason for that is because e is our base. So I'm going to apply a natural log. Remember, that's one of the two that we're pretty much universally allowed to use in our calculator. And that means log base e. So on the left hand side we get this very nice cancellation um, because these are inverse functions composed together. We're going to be left with just 2x in this case is natural log of 19 sevenths. And to wrap this one up and get x all by itself, we'll divide both sides by 2. Get an approximation for this. I got this in my calculator as 0.499. All right, next, let's see this one. We have 9 times 10 to the x power minus 1 equals 16. Now again, the goal initially is isolate this exponential part, get it on one side by itself. So our initial steps are going to be pretty similar to that previous problem where we want to add 11 to both sides. Move that over first. That'll put 9 times 10 to the x power on this side all by itself is equal to, well, 16 plus 11 is going to make 27 on the other side. 
the exponents only attached to the 10, so our next step should be trying to get rid of that 9. We're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 9 in this case. As we divide by 9, multiplying and dividing, inverse operations, that'll put 10 to the x power on one side by itself. This time, 27 divided by 9 actually works out pretty nicely, and it'll give us a 3. Again, we have an option here. We could use the definition to switch over to logarithmic form, uh, the definition of logarithm, or in my case, I'm going to go ahead and apply a common log to both sides. So each side gets substituted or plugged into a common log. All right, that common log automatically means log base 10. So you'll notice that we have log base 10, and then 10 is the base of the exponential part on the inside. This is going to allow some very nice canceling out, and we're going to be left with our exponent on the left side. And that's going to equal simply log of 3. Well, log of 3, we can put it in our calculators and get 0 0.477 as an approximation using my squiggly equal signs to indicate approximate. All right, one more, probably the most difficult we're going to see here. We already have everything that the exponent is attached to on one side, so we don't have to do those preliminary steps to rearrange and isolate the exponential part. Instead, I'm going to jump right into apply a logarithm to both sides, and I'm choosing the common logarithm in this case. So common log of 5 raised to the 7x plus 1 equals common log of 130. All right, from here we're allowed to use, we have a logarithm involved, so we're allowed to use our logarithmic properties that say this exponent can come down in front and become a multiple. So the entire exponent, the 7x plus 1, is going to be down in front and multiplied by log of 5 and that's going to equal log of 130. From here, the step shouldn't be too bad to, to solve down because x is out of the exponent. Now, we could distribute the log of 5, but I'm going to say the entire side is multiplied by log of 5. It may be easier just to move that to the other side by dividing the entire side by log of 5. Okay, multiplying and dividing by the same thing, counteract each other. This will leave 7x plus 1 on the left-hand side and the entire log of 130 divided by log of 5 on the right side. That will not simplify down, by the way. You can't say um, 130 divided by 5 and reduce that down because each one has its own logarithmic function attached to it. All right, the remaining steps really aren't that bad here. We need to move the 1 to the other side and the 7 to the other side. To do so, I'm going to first subtract 1 from both sides. That'll leave us with 7x on the left-hand side as adding and subtracting 1 are opposites. On the right-hand side, we now have log of 130 divided by log of 5 with a minus 1 hanging out at the end. All right, to finish this up, the exact answer is going to look a little strange, but that's okay. X is attached to the 7 with multiplication, so we're going to go ahead and divide both sides, the entire side on the left side and the entire side on the right, by 7. Okay, these will get to cancel. That leaves us with X on the left-hand side, and an exact answer is that big fraction within a fraction uh, over on the right-hand side. So this entire thing is our exact solution. Now we could do some work and simplify fractions inside of fractions, but for the time being, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, I'm going to put that in my calculator and get a an approximation. So it's going to be approximately, and when I put this in my calculator, I'm going to put a big set of parentheses around that entire numerator. So I'm going to start one before I push log, and I'm going to end one after I subtract that one, and then divide by 7. So I got this to be approximately 0 0.289. All right, hope this helps out as you're working on solving exponential equations. Good luck.